is going on, fellow Autobots and Decepticons? Welcome back to Royal Nation, and welcome back to another episode of TF5 Watch. And today we've got some pretty big news to discuss today in the world of the Transformers Cinematic Universe. So let's get down to it. So um, we're first going to talk about not Transformers the last night. We're going to talk about the Bumblebee spinoff film because we got some big news that came out a couple days ago about who will be directing the Bumblebee spinoff film. Now, if you guys don't know, I had a video put out a few months ago of who I would have liked to see direct the Bumblebee spinoff film. I mentioned Steven Spielberg, I mentioned Jonathan Leesman, and, uh, um, well, we have an official director, and it is Travis Knight. Now, if you don't know who Travis Knight is, uh, Travis Knight is the one who directed Kubo and the Two Strings. And if you guys know me from my other channel, I love Kubo and the Two Strings. It was one of my favorite movies of last year. One of the be probably the best animated movie out there. I feel, feel like it should have won Best Animated Feature for the Oscars. But um, it was a really, really well done movie. And that was uh, Travis Knight's directorial debut. And I think that he did a great job. Um, I think that that was, yeah. Uh, Travis Knight has been a, is a CEO of all the other, of uh, all the other uh, Leica Entertainment films that came out. For example... There was Box Trolls, there was uh, P Paranorman, and now he has his directorial debut with uh, with Kubo and the Two Strings. So so he'll be directing the Bulby spinoff film. I think that that's a great choice in my opinion. I really like Travis Knight's direct directing style. I think that the way he uh, brought in character and story was great in Kubo and the Two Strings. But here's my problem. The huge problem is that the only film that he has credit for is an animated movie. He is jumping from animated features to live action. And that's a huge career move. And, you know, great for Travis Knight. But hopefully he can handle doing live action. I hope that he can. Because animation is one thing. Live action is another. They're two completely different categories. And two completely different styles of directing and uh, producing and all that. So, two completely different productions. So, hopefully... He can handle doing a live action production against a animated production or stop motion, I guess, animated production as Kubo and the Two Strings was. But but yeah, Travis Knight is a solid choice. I'm just hoping that his that he uh, can handle doing live action. But also with that news, we got uh, producers uh, for the movie. Uh, we have Lorenzo de Ven Lorenzo de Bonventure from uh, Birds of Prey. Michael Bay and Steven Spielberg. So, yes, Michael Bay is still involved in this project. So, if you guys are saying that Michael Bay is officially gone, he's gone with the director's chair, but he is not gone with the franchise. He is still part of this franchise. He will be producing the project. So, he is still very, very involved in the, this project, as well as Steven Spielberg. So, so they're not leaving. They're still part of this project. And I knew that that was, that was going to be the case, because... You can't just leave Michael Bay and have Travis Knight, someone who who's never handled live action, and jump into this franchise. No, they're going to have Michael Bay lecture Travis Knight on the, the franchise and show him what the movies need to look like, what the layout should be. Like, He'll teach him. I'm pretty sure Michael Bay's going like, to mentor Travis Knight on this film. But, um, and Steven Spielberg as well, but... But, uh, yeah, Christina Huts Hudson has also written the film, and I don't think she has any writing credits yet. I think this is her first time writing. I think I've, she's done, like, small projects, but I'm not sure what they were. But that is pretty much it for that news. I mean, I'm pretty excited for the Bumblebee spinoff film. We haven't heard anything yet. I don't know when the film will be starting to shoot. I assume that the film is going to start filming around... Um, after Transformers Last Night comes out, so or maybe beforehand, who knows? But I'm pretty sure they're gonna start filming soon, very very soon. But anyways, let us talk about now the toys because you do know the toys are coming out very soon. They're coming out around April or May, so they're coming out pretty soon. So I just want to discuss the toys that I plan to pick up and ones that I do not plan to pick up. So let me first start off with the ones that I do not want to pick up. The one, the deluxe classes. We're gonna start with deluxe class. So, the, for Deluxe Class, the ones I'm going to be passing up on are Slash, Drift, Slug, uh, the 
2014 Camaro repaint of Bumblebee, strafe, crosshairs, and I might be passing up on Steel Band as, as well. Um, I don't know why, but Steel Band just looks... I'm looking at him right now. Steel Band, I don't know, his colors just don't look that pretty, and he just... The design doesn't look good to me. I don't know why, but I don't know. I, I'm probably going to be passing up on him. Now, the deluxe classes that I will be picking up are Squeaks, um, Berserker, Barricade, and the regular uh, Bumblebee. So, that's it. So, basically, four deluxe classes. Um, yeah, like Slash and it's just a repaint. Drift is a minor remold, but not so much. The painted job is not that great, in my opinion. I think the paint job's awful. Um, yeah. So, yeah. That's the ones I'll be picking up and not picking up. So, now let's talk about Voyager classes. Uh, for Voyager classes, the ones that I will not be picking up is uh, the Grimlock. I'll be passing up on the Grimlock just because there's no differences there. And I will also maybe be passing up on the Voyager class Optimus Prime. I might be passing up on the Voyager because I might want to get the leader one. But the Voyager one I might pass up on. Now the ones that I'm picking up for sure is the Hound, the Megatron, definitely picking up the Megatron, the Scorn I'm definitely picking up, and uh, yeah, those those three are primarily the ones that I want to pick up. Hound, Megatron, and Scorn. Those ones look really good. Um, definitely Megatron though. He, he looks great in the Voyager class mode. And as for the leader classes, the leader classes, the ones I'm going to be picking, not picking up, um, I've heard that there's going to be a repainted version of Grimlock. I don't know... If there's any remolds on that, but if there's not, not picking that one up. But the ones that I will be picking up for sure is a Leader Class Optimus Prime, because the one that they showed off at Toy Fair was actually pretty decent. And, of course, the Leader Class Megatron, because I'm, that mold looks awesome. So, so that is it. Um, uh, these The prices have also gone a little up uh, for, these, for these toys, so it's going to be a little expensive. But, um, yeah. That is pretty much it for this video. Um, not a whole lot of news, just just a director announcement. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys let me know your thoughts on Travis Knight officially directing the Bumblebee spinoff film. Do you think it's a good idea or if it's a bad idea? And tell me what figures are you guys going to be picking up from the Last Night toy line and ones that you're not going to be picking up. And that is it for my video on the Travis Knight announcement. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. We are Wild Nation, and we always roll out. See you next time.